is the Sunshine Mile Breeze Block. So when the artwork first went up, it sort of it took a little while. So it was over a period of several weeks, different elements were appearing. And uh, through the grapevine, I heard that there was a thread on Reddit. What are those weird symbols all up and down Broadway? And people were speculating as to what they could possibly mean. For me, it was obvious that it was mid-century modern breeze blocks in various sizes and shapes, but uh, other people didn't know that. And so they were speculating that it might be some sort of Mormon heaven and earth symbol and uh, other crazy things that escaped me at the moment. But it certainly did sort of spur interest in the community, which is a good thing. Mainly I'm inspired by Tucson's historic architecture and also the neon signs. So I decided to do numerous small pieces of art strung along the two mile length of the project rather than one big art piece somewhere where it wouldn't really fit. So I, we ended up with small narrow things down on the ground and then up on the light poles we also have elements that you view sort of as an experience as you drive along and as you're walking you sort of see the individual things down on the ground. There was, you know, there was a lot of public planning process on this project. You know, in the 60s, they were going to tear down the entire block north of Broadway and put in a big, huge freeway. And so over the years, that project shrunk and shrunk and shrunk. So there were a bunch of public meetings. And so I think I started going to the public meetings before the public art thing even became a... But I knew there would be a public art element, because there always is in Tucson road projects. When the call to artists came out, I certainly applied for it. And, was fortunate enough to get accepted. You know, this is all fabricated by local businesses, which I think is an important element of public art that people often overlook. The money sort of stays in the community and helps to support local businesses. So Cook and Company Sign Makers, Concrete Designs Incorporated, Mikey Block, Old Pueblo Stucco, and Ashton Construction, who did the road project, also helped out with foundations and stuff. So it was a team effort of many local businesses. So what I tried to do was sort of define the Sunshine Mile, which is actually two miles from Euclid to Country Club, and uh, by using a repeating visual element that also sort of changes, and then colors that transition as the colors of the sunset from yellow to purple. Um, it kind of marks each half mile in, as its own identity, and then the whole district as an identity as well. I think public art makes what otherwise would just be an ordinary road project more interesting. Otherwise, you know, if we can just have infrastructure that's just infrastructure, but to add a little bit of something special to each different infrastructure project makes the community all that much more interesting. These are what I call the big blocks. They're three foot square freeze blocks, and they're cast out of concrete by concrete designs in town. and. Um, these, unlike many of the other breeze blocks up and down the way, all have a different design. So there's 12 big blocks, and there's three different designs for each in each half mile section of the road. So as you walk up and down, you can try and find all the different designs. They're like Pokemon. It was pretty much fabricated by others, but this little wall is something that I got to get in here and actually do the painting myself with a little brush. If I was sensible, I would have used spray, but I'm not sensible, and it was more fitting, I think, to do brushing, so brushed the paint myself. So this is the Solot block, which is the most well-known intact stretch of commercial mid-century modern architecture on the Sunshine Mile. And as you can see, one of the buildings features actual historical breeze blocks, which were the inspiration for the Sunshine Mile Breeze Block Public Art Project. 